Okay, the next two, I am just like, yes. <laughs> we are gonna be in style. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are talking about the 2024 paint forecast that has just come out by Sherwin-Williams. I am so pumped about what Sherwin-Williams is predicting. I love what's come out from them. I think that you guys will as well. Today we'll be talking about each of the four color families that Sherwin-Williams has come out with, how we might use these colors, which colors they think we're all gonna want to be using. We are going to have an in-depth chat about this, whether we agree, disagree. There's a couple where I'm like, well, <laughs> that's not gonna be my thing, but it might be yours. So. I am really excited to have this chat because I love talking about trends, what's coming in, what's coming out. I absolutely love just the fun of looking at it and deciding whether it's something that we want or not. So let's decide together whether we think that Sherwin-Williams has nailed this or not. Make sure you hit subscribe if you have not already and give the video a thumbs up if you're like me and just love checking out the colors. So let's jump into today's video. They are coming out with their anthology. This is their volume one. And they're saying that these color trends are poised to play a significant role in tomorrow's designs. From blues and greens to delicate tints, the leading shades of anthology volume one are setting the color direction as we move into a new era of trend reporting. So that's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be something that they're gonna come out with all the time. I love it because it's just a fun conversation for us. You guys know we do publish our own colors of the year. If you have not watched our colors of the year for 2023, I'll leave a link for that down below. I post videos all the time about my favorite whites, my favorite blacks. And you definitely wanna be a subscriber because I'm getting ready to come out with the fall winter color palette. I know, I'm so excited about it. It's imminent, but I saw this and I was like, we gotta have a chat about this right now. I can't wait that long. So stay tuned. We're gonna have more from our side and I'll let you know what I think is gonna be our trends for our brand and what I think you guys are gonna really love. But for now, so Sherwin-Williams has started with blues and greens. The palette revolves around a mix of blues and greens. Their shades vary from organic and calming, and then they've also got some invigorating colors, at least that's how they prefer to call it. So you're gonna find everything from honeydew, and upward to evergreen fog. Uh, pewter green is absolutely gorgeous if you ask me. I do like the indigo, but the smoky azurite, wow. So I think that these colors are really interesting because I think what you're gonna see is that there is always gonna be a camp of people who really just love muted color and then there's always gonna be people who love bright, saturated color. You, there's, no, there's no wrong answer. There's no right answer. It's about you. That's half the fun of doing this, is figuring out which one you lean towards. So let me know if you even lean towards blues and greens, if these feel like they're striking a chord with you. That's what I think is really interesting because we have a community of design enthusiasts and we can talk about this, right? Is this what we're craving? Is this what we are wanting? Uh, you wait until you see all the colors and you can decide at the end or make me notes in the comments if you would like as we go. I love hearing from you guys about this. They are saying that this is a palette that revolves around a central color connection, blending and dispersing across a broad range of organic, calming yet invigorating blue grays, bluish greens, and everything in between. I do think that we are seeing a slight warmer, muted, almost like chalky color on that kind of softer side, and then just those bright bursts of saturated color on the brighter side. When it comes to color trends, there is more to it than just the paint on your walls. Color trends are all about the entire interior of your space. So when it comes to being able to choose colors that really are going to last 2023, 2024, into the 2030s, which is so weird to say, and so far beyond, I always take my interiors far beyond just a quick little drop in the bucket kind of trend. I'm really looking for timeless classic pieces. That is why my go-to for linens is Burke Linen because they are absolutely amazing. Burke Linen has very kindly sponsored this portion of the video. They've got beautiful quality, gorgeous, stunning pieces. I recommend Brooklyn Linen to 
all of my clients because when I'm doing a room makeover, I wanna make sure whatever linens I give my clients in their spaces will be long lasting, not only in the trend colors themselves, but of course also in the quality and the style of it as well. I love to do their hardcore bundles. They come like this. They're so beautifully packed. They come like a present, okay? You save 25% just by bundling these items. These include the core sheet set, the duvet, and the pillowcases. So it's everything you need to be able to fix the bed and get yourself going. You can get lots of different colors in them. I own several colors in them myself. I think that the white is the most timeless. You could choose to go with the classic per kale. Those are endlessly classic. I like to think of it as like a really nice cotton button down shirt. If you, it just has a crispness to it. It has a structure to it. They feel amazing. I've, I love all of these, okay? <laughs> and I have a, several of these, so I can recommend them all. You can also go with the Lux Satin set. This is what I am adding another set to um, for mine because I love the silky softness of them. They still have the crispness to them, but they also just feel just, it, it's it's like sleeping in silk. They just feel so amazing against your skin. You could also go with the linen and linen has a more relaxed feel to it. And it's got this like casual, relaxed, just softness to it. And they just wear so well. Right now, Brooklinen is running their staycation sale. So you can save 15% on all Brooklinen products. That includes their bedding, like the hardcore bundle. It includes their bath products, their towels, their sheets, the linens, the duvets. There's so many great products. It is the perfect time to do some shopping and to stock up. So I'm gonna leave all the details down below in the show notes. And all you need to do is just click my link and check everything out. And I know that you guys are going to absolutely love it. Next, let's move on to the poetry of reds and purples. I really got excited about this because I have to tell you, I really love the brown undertone, reds and purples. I really like those muted colors. I think the addition of browns moving away from the cooler tones to the warmer tones, you're seeing it on both sides of the color. You're just seeing warmer, even if it's a bright pink, it's a little bit more of a warmer pink rather than a bluish pink. I, I think that it's absolutely stunning absolutely stunning. This is how I like to dress. It's how I like to decorate. I think that these colors are soothing and especially on that, on the muted side of these colors, they're soothing, they're warm, they're inviting. And then on the jazzier side of the spectrum, they are popping and they're fun and you just feel like every day is a party and you just feel the drama in those colors. I think both can be very dramatic, but just in a very different way. Dramatic in the ah, and then the dramatic in the woohoo. <laughs> so <laughs> let me know which one you are. So if you like the red and purple family, then you are probably going to love the Sachet Sand. Oh, Redend Point Redend. We did this last time. We talked about that. I was like, is it Redend Redend? <laughs> point. Either way, the color's gorgeous. They are saying that these are ravishing reds and purples put on a dynamic display with warm crimson, soft blush and beige, sweet purples and nostalgic pops of cheerful color. It's balanced by the growing popularity of natural clay and baked pigments. This palette leans muted yet expressive. Okay, you gotta let me know which one of those you guys are. They've got chinchilla in here. They've got dragon fruit. Wow, that pops. They've got wild current and intuitive paired together. Let me know if you guys like the combination of red and purple. That's a combination I would typically avoid myself, but on myself, but then I see it on other people and I'm like, that looks good. <laughs> We've got fireweed and snowbound. That is absolutely gorgeous. Lots of choices there with your reds and purples. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I think it can be absolutely gorgeous to do a dining room in a red or a purple, give yourself that fun pop. 
You might not want to do that in your bedroom if you want it to be more restful, but if you're the type of person that needs something that gets you excited about waking up, you might want to try that pink. You might want to try a cheerful pink color in there. You could also use these colors in a bathroom and don't forget, you can also use these colors as accent colors on furniture. You could use it on a table or a bookshelf. You can use it in your accessories. These colors can be a springboard of inspiration. So let me know how you feel about this color category of reds and purples. Okay, the next two, I am just like, yes. <laughs> we are gonna be in style. <laughs> what I love about this forecast, and this is what I have started to say myself in so many of my recent videos, that the trends that we're seeing are more than just 2023, 2024. That the trends that I'm really interested in are the trends that are of the 2020s, and of the 2030s. So Sherwin Williams is saying the exact same thing. I feel like people are just begging for a more timeless design, something that is not an annual trend, but something that's decade, decades driven. And I really think that they are answering that in these next two palettes, which is why I am just thrilled. I'm thrilled. This is what we talk about. These two palettes are what we talk about the most on this channel. So let's dive in. Let's chat about the gathering of deeps and darks. I know, I know, guys, I'm so excited. So deep, dark colors are becoming a favorite way to create an atmosphere of restful retreat and introduce powerful contrast. This range of otherworldly hues lends a bit of intrigue to an of the moment direction. I love it. I love it. So they are definitely leaning towards the browns, even in these beautiful, rich tones. So seal skin is, oh, I just love it. Tricorn black, oh, forever and ever a favorite. Never gonna go out of style. Snowbound as well. You'll see rock bottom, beautiful, beautiful color there. You've got raisin. I think that's really interesting. I would have almost have put that personally in the purple group, but they're putting it here with like the deep, rich, dark colors. And I think it just works. I think it's gorgeous. So if you love dark saturated color, check those out. I think that these colors, you guys know, I love these colors. Look at my fireplace. <laughs> My sunroom is painted in a color very similar to tricorn black. My office is in a color that's very similar to seal skin or like rock bottom, kind of in that family. I love these colors. I think they are perfect for rooms where you just want a little bit of drama and a bit of coziness. And I just, sometimes I've accented where I put light against the dark and other times I've done dark against dark. It's just a color palette that I think is is endlessly in style and these color tones i've painted my house out in these colors it's been like six years even after all this time i still just love this color palette it really works well whether you want to accent with travertine or you want to accent with marble it works amazing if you want to add some beige or some taupe it's just so neutral that you can put literally any color with it and that's why for me these are the color trends that i get most excited about because they're really long lasting and really neutral and calm and warm and inviting and they feel really luxurious to me so clearly i'm a fan let me know in the comments how you feel about them next up let's talk about a delicate tint i love this a study in delicate tints this is a step away from a world of distraction and demands on the senses it lends serene sophistication to spaces that invite deep thought and elevated style with the gentlest hint of color or none at all wow okay the drift of mist that is beautiful these are the exact colors that i've been using in my own home and in my client's home this color palette is so soft and delicate again just all about these neutrals people you know people try to say that white oh it's going to go out of style literally white will never go out of style the tints and things will change here and there over the years but if you're wanting a classic color that never goes out of style check out these the dark monotone like dark grays and blacks and whites because they go with everything 
And that's why so many people like me who are trying to create these looks, developing a home that I know it's gonna take me a few years to create the vision, this is the best way for me to do it so I can build upon it and it doesn't go out of style. So definitely check out that Drift of Mist. They brought in Snowbound again, Silver Strand. I think that's interesting. That almost feels a little bit bluish to me. And we've been talking about how those blue grays were kind of going out of style, but here they're saying it's still here. So you guys can let me know what you think about that. So we got Florida Cell, which, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that that really has a very beachy feel and that's kind of eternal if you really like that style. You could also look at Skyline Steel. I do think that Skyline Steel out of these is where more people are moving towards. So if you're thinking about using one or the other, I would look at Skyline Steel myself. I think that's a really good brown undertone neutral that's really going to stand the test of the decade. And I think that's a really good option. It really warms up the space really just works well with so many different wood tones and travertine and marbles and gosh, boucles and wools and everything that you'd want. All your wood tones, oh, everything just looks really good with a color like that. Uh, also, oh, egret white is one of my favorite colors. Yes, that um, is a color that I almost did on the outside of my house, actually. I went with Greek Villa in the end just because of how the house sits with the sun, but egret white was the runner up. I was either gonna do Greek Villa or egret white. I love this color. I'm so excited that that is in here. I love it. They put it with light French gray, which still has a good bit amount of brown in it. I think that's gorgeous. I think that's beautiful. So there you go. That is Sherwood Williams color trend forecast for 2024. I think it's amazing. I love the colors that they brought out. Several of these are colors that I have used or recommend to my clients all the time. I do a lot of exteriors with these colors, but they also look great inside the home. As always, whenever you're thinking about paint, think about, you really need to get the samples, first of all. <laughs> we have a lot of paint videos on this channel, so definitely check out the paint videos. I've got an entire video just about how to pick exterior colors. But anytime you're thinking about paint colors, think about what else you have in your home. If you have a wood tone that you're going to be using with this color forever and ever, amen, or if there's a color of wood maybe that you're thinking about changing to, does the color go with what you have and what you're thinking about changing to, right? You gotta think through all these decisions before you go to paint your walls. But these colors would be amazing on furniture as well. I think pulling swatches, putting them next to your pillows and next to your upholstery, put them next to the other things you have in the house, uh, just a really great way of being able to make sure that it all is just gonna feel cohesive. I do think that the thing that people struggle with the most is trying to make sure that the wood tones and the color of the paint, do they work together really nicely? Uh, again, I think if you sit them next to each other and you're like, yes, that looks good, then you're gonna like the way it looks when it goes up on the wall. If you see them sitting next to each other and you're like, I really just don't know, you might wanna think twice about it. Sometimes you're just second guessing yourself because you don't trust your instincts. Uh, but a lot of times when you look at something and something just feels off about it, it may be the undertones of it. So maybe it's a little bit more blue than yellow and you might wanna check the, the bottom of it is a good hint, like if you're looking at the strip. I always look at the bottom of those and say, okay, obviously the bottom of this is green or it's bright blue, so it gives me a good clue as to how this color leans. It's just a quick crash course on that one if you're looking at your colors and you're trying to decide what to do. But either way, I think that this is super exciting. I hope that you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Let me know in the comments which one of these palettes is your favorite. And if you love to hear about color trends and you hope that we'll keep an eye out for maybe some more forecasting, hit subscribe if you haven't already for sure because we're gonna be coming out with our own fall color palette. Loads of inspiration for home and fashion coming out of this. Oh, I'm so excited. I literally am like, I, I woke up this morning and I was like, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna eat, I don't wanna brush my teeth, I wanna go straight to my desk and keep working on my mood boards because I'm so excited about this, I feel so inspired. So yeah, I just get in those creative modes and I think that you guys understand that when you're doing a room and you get just that inspiration just overflowing and it's just so much fun. So I hope that you've had fun today and I'm gonna grab my coffee 
and run back to my desk and get to work on all this fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.